guys, how are you all doing? It's a beautiful summer's afternoon. I decided to come out here and make a video for you all. I know some people are have already gotten their visas approved. Congratulations if you have your visa already. If you are yet to go for your visa interview, all the best. The best of wishes. Good luck. You're going to get it and you're going to go through it. Um, so today I just want to make a video on a few things to come along with when you're coming from Ghana. Uh, I know sometimes it comes as a shock when you get here and then you realize that there's some things that you cannot get easily. So I have some things written down on my phone here. Um, so you see me looking down here. I just, you know, have things documented. So I like to like be very specific and hit the nail right on the head. So without further ado, I won't waste too much time. I'll just go straight into the list that I have here. So the first thing that I'll talk about or the first thing that is super important is all documents from your school um, and work. So you are, we are looking at transcript, um, original certificates, we're looking at school documents, everything that you can think of. And then if you're working and then you said that you were working, you want to bring like your employment, employment letter, you want to bring your some payment slip or paying slip. Um, to show that you are working with this company. So some proof that you are working with a certain company. Um, the next thing is African or homemade attires. Things that show your cultural heritage. Like, like I'm an Ashanti, so like I will bring more of um, the slits, the kintes, the, the cloths that will show that, hey, I'm, I'm, I'm Ashanti. Like you want to live your heritage even though you are on the land of the United States of America. So you don't want to forget that. So bring enough. Enough of African, African prints, homemade attires, cultural attires, things that will show your heritage and your lineage. Um, the next thing is a simple home wear black slippers. I came here without a slippers and I realized that when it gets to summer, as you can see, it's like it's very bright and it's like very warm and hot. You really want to like feel free with the sneakers and go away, go out without sneakers and socks. So you want to like show off your legs and so you should bring a black slippers that you can at least walk around campus with or even go grocery shopping with the next one is at least bring one jacket and one coat um you can come here and get a jacket and one coat but it can be super expensive since most most of the time students do come in a period of fall to winter and fall to winter winter clothes are super expensive if you come here in the summer, winter clothes are not super expensive, so you can get at least one to take care of you through the, the winter up ahead. But I would say that get a jacket and get a coat from Ghana. Um, you can, I, and if you ask people, you should be able to get directions to get in a coat and a jacket. The next one is official clothes. Official clothes in terms of if you're a lady, you're, you're talking about straight dresses, official wears, like things that you can take to work. Um, you can have also official trousers, um, official tops. Um, if you're a guy, we are looking at official, you know, dressing your, your trousers and your long sleeves, um, white um, shirts, and all the things that make you look official, like a professional student or a professional person. Um, the next thing is you want to get an official shoe, an official shoe for a guy, an official shoe for a girl. Um, this goes for the girls who want to bring enough jeans. And I think it's not just girls. You can also bring enough jeans as a guy. Please do bring enough, as many as you can bring, Jesus to the US. The next one is at least one sneakers. One, you know, easy wear sports wear that can take you through, you know, winter or fall. Since it, at that time, it will not be snowing that much, but it will pretty much be cold so you really want to get a sneaker um, when you're coming um, the next one is um, get all um, underwears and the clothes for a girl and a guy and the clothes are very important like get it you don't want to come and spend extra dollars to get these things please do get some or bring some along when you're coming from Ghana. Um, for girls you want to get things that you use for your hair like ribbons um, um, those, you know, tiny ribbons to tie your hair. Uh, you don't want to get a bobby pin 
for five dollars like bobby paints cost less than three students in ghana you don't want to get bobby paints for more than five dollars here uh, the next thing is a sponge a sponge or, or a sponge and towel please bring sponge bring ghana sponge they had ones the ones that you know last long the ones that you've been using to bath since the 80s that one and bring um, a towel with you uh, the next one is in terms of food food items um we are looking at spices so maggi powdered pepper dry okra cow watch leaves a whole lot so if you have a specific food that you like in ghana you want to bring things that you can, you can use to make it so um if you like kenke at least bring um the husk that they used to make kenke or the flour or condo a whole lot of things this, this is like a food item so what you prefer if you if you like fufu, fufu is easy to get fufu flour is easy to get easy to get here but if you like tz it's not so easy to come by corn flour it's prepared tz so you want to bring at least enough to you know take you through a few months you know to remember where you're coming from your heritage and your you know mind you of ghana uh the next thing is banku spatula so bankuta what we call bankuta you want to please don't miss it you want to bring bankuta Br please bring it I, I, that's all that i can say that's all that i can say the next thing is you want to bring apotoria apotoria is um ethylene bowl apoto apotoyua is ethylene bowl what we grind pepper in um, if you understand what I'm saying, what we grind pepper in. So you want to bring the bowl and the baby that comes with it. Um, the next one is fish powder. Guys, fish powder um, or dry fishes, shrimp powder. It, it, you, please. Yes, I know some people would say make shit all and come with it. But these ingredients, the fish powder and the shrimp powder is the salient you know, ingredient in making shit all. So you want to get that because you can get onions here, you can get oil here, you can get pepper here, you can get, um, um, what, I don't know, tin tomatoes here. What you have left is your fish powder and your shrimp powder to make a complete homemade shuttle. So please come along with fish powder, dry fishes like um, amalane, sisawa, um, ajin. I'm sorry if you don't understand this, but that's how it's been called in Ghana. Um, the next one is African beads. Sorry guys, um, about the wind, I'm outside. So the next item is African beads or artifacts. So I did talk about African prints and, and clothes. This time, I'm, this one is talking about African beads. So beads, um, banklets, um, chains, that shows your culture. So beads, African beads and artifacts, so you have like, I don't know, I, I really don't know on top of my head, but African artifacts, anything that you can consider as something that can show your heritage. Um, the next one is Gary. That is super important. I should have mentioned this first. Please bring with you Gary because you will miss home. You will miss home and you will miss Gary and beans and Gary and Shito and all the things, the food that you can make with Gary. Please come with Gary. Very, very important. The next one I did mention, condo, cassava dough, teas tz flour and it's conditioned on whether you like it or not you like tz or not um, the next one is a good laptop if you have if you're already using a laptop that is super good and can you know help you through your analysis if you're coming to do statistics please do bring it or any other course that you're coming to do please do bring that laptop if it's a bob laptop please leave it at home don't break it don't carry extra loads with you um, yep. now in terms of electronics i want to get a two or three pin charger for all electronic devices or adapters that have small um, american style um, pins so if you don't have if you can't get a charger that has a small pin american style you can get yourself an adapter that has an american style small pin either two or three um, google this for example um, and get that before you come the last two items are like a thing that i it's my own personal favorite plantain chips please come along with plantain chips i know it may sound funny but please come along with at least you know five packs of plantain chips to you know remind you of ladder um immediately when you get here and the last one is one that is on my heart please bring ghana kiss bite chocolate it may sound very funny for you but you you understand 
you understand when you get here. So these are the things that I feel like are super important for you to come along with. Um, at least get them. Um, when you get here, you can buy as much as clothes that you want. One thing that I should mention is you need, you should not bring a lot of your clothes that you wear normal days because you will outgrow them. Uh, so you, you don't want to fill your backpacks um, and your traveling bags with just clothes that are coming from, you know, what, two years or three years ago. Um, just think of it that you will grow, you will gain more weight, so you might outgrow them. Um, and the last additional tip that I would say is if you have the opportunity to learn how to drive, please do learn how to drive before you come here. It is very important. Um, you might not fall into a community that has a lot of... Um, international students or African students that may help you to learn how to drive. So if you have the opportunity to learn how to drive in Ghana before you come, please take that advantage. The other thing is if you have the opportunity to learn how to sew or fix cars or fix things, please do learn it before you come. Like Baba, people's hair, you know, those kind of like little, little things. Please learn them. They are very, very crucial to your existence here and living peacefully in a in the United States as a student. So I think that is all. Um, if you have any questions, please do leave it in the comment section below. Um, like this video, um, share this video. Please, if you are not subscribed, please hit the subscribe button. And after you're done subscribing, please hit the post notification bell that is right next to the subscribe button. And with that said, I have another video for you that is going to talk about what to bring when you're coming from Nigeria. So I'm not leaving you out. I'm not leaving you out. So I have that video upcoming and see you in that video. Bye for now.